so what we've got in front of us here is the uh, replacement screen from Blackpool Honda. They sent the replacement screen out pretty much three days after I emailed them about it. No bother at all. Brilliant service. Can't praise them enough. Certainly be buying more bits from them if that's the way it's going to be. Um, with the original one, as we can remember, it's got the damaged bit there. You can see the crack and the chip out of it, which is probably fine. It's probably salvageable. Um, but, you know, when you're paying for a new one, you obviously, you're expecting to get a new part sent out. So let's, uh, without any further ado, let's get a So fitted. for those of you who saw the other video, um, what we're going to do is we're going to pop out these two wee screws up in here. Then I'm going to go around all of this edge in here, just with plastic trim removal tool. We'll take this V off and then we'll be exposing the bolts where the camera sits. Camera. Where the screen secured onto the, the scooter. So, just going to get this done. I unfortunately, in the words of Billy Conley, I'm getting bloody old, I'm making noises. When I sit down and when I stand up now. People are meant to warn me about these things when you're doing it, but my kids have buggered off playing with their pals. And the wife's watching Formula One, so they're all just going to make me just look like an old man. And sound like an old man on camera as I do that. He said as he squints his wretchedly old eyes that barely work anymore. There's a bit of space in the workshop today because I think the VFR might be going away. We're waiting on somebody coming with a view to purchasing it. Um, because for those of you who um, don't know, it was hurting my neck to ride it. I have prolapsed discs up at the top of my neck. Uh, and it feels like it's going that way at the bottom of my spine as well. So it's going to be back to something with regular handlebars for me, I think. There we go. And she just slides down. And just to prove I've not broke anything, tada! Happy. Right, so what we've got now is we have a couple of bolts. A couple of Allen keys, so give me two seconds and we will see if we can't get these off. Obviously being prepared would be far too professional, I think, to be doing. <laughs> Right, there we are, standard screen removed, standard screen can sit over here just now and it will get put somewhere safe for a rainy day, you never know when you're going to need standard stuff to put it back together. Now, the new TV screen is here and it should just slot on. Now this one didn't need a fitting kit, the bigger touring style screen I've got the fitting kit to do so that'll be a longer vid. Bring that in. Because I'm getting old and decrepit I will save my wretchedly old knees and uh, sit in a chair. To do this. As I just screw this back on here. Didn't want to get the big tall one on straight away. I'm um, kind of keeping that more for the bad weather. I'm not a huge fan of looking through a windscreen on a bike or a scooter. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm missing a washer off that. 
Right, okay, so what we've got now going on is I'm missing a washer here. I've lost the black nylon washer, which is meaning that that's moving too much. So, obviously can't find the black nylon washer anywhere. I'm waiting for about half an hour. So I'm just going to put a regular washer on it. It doesn't go in many tightness or anything anyway. Um, just to get that wee bit extra support for the screen. I know it's held in place with other things other than this anyway, but just so it's like that. I'm only going to give these a tiny nip up with the ratchet on all because they don't need a lot. They're not really supporting anyway. I just don't want them to become loose. That's all. I'm jamming there. Next up then, we've got the two hex bolts. Now these have little white nylon washers on them because these are actually putting a bit of pressure against this. So next up, all we've got to do is replace the outer bit and then we get a very satisfying peeling of the plastic. Not quite the same as when you buy a new phone. And what we need to do is these wee snibs, we need to kind of push the thing up the way. to admit not overly impressed with the fit from Juvie I would normally have expected better there we go that's a little bit better but this is kind of gaps here and stuff now to my eyes that's just water's going to just run down in there but there's no silicon there's no gasket there's nothing comes with it that means that you, you know you would have to do that so we'll see how it goes can't be that bad because loads of folk use this thing. Um, can't be that bad. And then obviously we'll just give this a wee go for a while and then we'll change over and we will hit the... Um, we'll fire up the big massive one and we'll see what the difference is like on that. Uh, I know aesthetically it's very, very different. Um, like I say, I'm not a huge fan of looking through screens. So that's everything nipped up. Now the moment of truth. Ah, there we go, and then there we go, pick that up later, um, so, so there we have that TV screen all fitted now, hopefully that should still help a wee bit of wind buffeting because that existing standard screen is useless, it does nothing, it's no good to man their beast, but we'll do a wee ride report on it and we'll see how it goes, alright, thanks for watching, see you later guys, like and subscribe, catch you in the next one.